What's up guys, I'm Paul from Grill Your Ass Off. Today we're doing a buffalo chicken dip. So first, we got some boneless chicken thighs. I'm gonna get those open, and then just lay them out. This is good for like, a, you know, watching a few sports, you know, doing like something easy because you could set this up in the morning, like I'm doing right now. Uh, we got a party later tonight. I'm gonna get this rolling, and then once it's done, I'll put it in the fridge and all you gotta do is heat it up and melt the cheese at the end. So you could really do this early and take some you know, time away. And just make sure you these are boneless, but sometimes they miss a few and you get a little, little piece in there. You don't want that. Well, you just go over and make sure everything's out. Well, it looks good right now. Uh, the seasoning I'm using today for the chicken would be Crispy's Mango Habanero. It pairs well with chicken and seafood. So just do one side as much or as little as you want, depending on how hot you want it. Pat it in, flip it over. It, the mango habanero is like a, a sweet heat kind of. It starts off you know, a little sweet and then the back end is hot. Um, like I said, I use it on seafood also. Chicken too, like I'll use it like an even coat, sometimes heavier than others. It all depends on how hot you want it, um, but it's very balanced. Or like for the dip, you could do some heavy and some light because it's all really going into the same concoction. But once you get those seasoned on both sides, you set those aside, let them sweat out for a little bit. Uh, we're cooking over charcoal today for these on the big green egg. So while this is taking a minute to sweat, I'll prep everything else. You're gonna need any like uh, 16 ounces of cream cheese. Make sure it's room temp or like, you know, let it sit in a bowl and as you're cooking the chicken, it'll come up the temperature because when you mix everything, it makes it a lot easier. So. On top of the cream cheese, you add a third cup of crumbled crumbled blue cheese. You could eyeball it too. I'm probably just gonna eyeball it. But. Uh, the recipe calls for two cups of shredded cheddar. Um, I don't put that much in the mixing bowl. I save a lot of the cheese for the end to put it over the dip. Because if you add too much, it becomes, the cheese becomes greasy and then it doesn't look good when you're finished. So I'll put you know a few handfuls, but nothing crazy. Like I said, I save it for the end. Then it calls for you know I would say about a half cup of scallions. Then I usually come back to dust the top with Willie Peach chicken seasoning. Then the, the mixing bowl calls for a third cup of ranch dressing. We have our own to grill your ass off. What you do is you get anywhere from like a pound, pound and a half of sour cream. You mix this in, mix it thoroughly. I usually let it tack up in the fridge for like a half an hour and then I'll add it to here. So calls for a third cup. All right, so I got the egg running at like 3, 325. Uh, I'm gonna put the chicken on now. All right, so the last thing you think I usually add with this before the chicken is um, calls for a half a cup of buffalo sauce. Today we're using Frank's Red Hot Wings sauce, so. Now you just put this aside and wait for the chicken to be done. 
Now, we pulled the chicken off the egg. And as you can see, it's got a beautiful color. I took it a little bit higher than 165 or 175. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cube it up and then put it into our cream cheese buffalo mixture. You could cut, cube it up as large as or small as you want. I usually try to keep it to like a medium size, so it's good enough on a chip, because you know, it is a dip. All right, so now I got everything, the chicken and the dip, so you have to mix thoroughly. It's gonna be a little sludgy at first, but once the cream cheese starts to break down, that's why you gotta let it come up to room temp, or it's a nightmare. Yeah, that's the money shot. If you have carpal tunnel, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I said, I can't stress enough. If the cream cheese is at room temperature, you're gonna be struggling mixing this. This is like the consistency you want. You know, creamy. All right, so this is the consistency you're looking for. You gotta, like I said, stir thoroughly and then once it's nice and mixed, I usually come back and top it with Krispies mango habanero, just a little bit for a little extra kick. Stir that in. Stir, stir, stir. You could do this in a cast iron or a small Pyrex. I'm using a small Pyrex, so I'm gonna make it level and uh, give it a shot. This is my favorite part. Lean in for me, Paul. <laughs> that sound is, that's what we call the money shot. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll put clear wrap or saran wrap on top of it and put it in the fridge until later. Oh. I'm putting the buffalo chicken dip on the green egg. I'm gonna let it come up to temp and then I'm gonna top it with cheese. the cheese a little more, melt it, nice golden brown color, 